guys, it's Laura from OurEarlyHouse.com and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make the best Christmas room sprays. I am going to share eight different recipes here with you because everybody has a little bit different scent that reminds them of Christmas. Anything with that cinnamon, clove, wild orange smell really reminds me of Christmas. I also like the smell of fresh pine trees around Christmas time. You can also do some peppermint and wild orange together to kind of remind you of that minty Christmas candy. So there are several different blends that you can use. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make one here on the YouTube channel now. And down in the description below, I will share with you the other recipes. And then I also have here a free printable that you guys can get. Um, I have a link for this down in the description below, but it has all eight of the different recipes that I'm gonna be sharing. And it tells you kind of the name of it, how to make it, the ingredients. And what I do is I like to print these recipes on this waterproof sticky label paper. It makes it really easy because you can just cut it out, stick it on your bottle, and then when it's waterproof, it lasts longer, obviously. And then when your spray runs out, you can just refill it. So I am making this recipe in two ounce glass spray bottles. And the reason why I'm doing it in the two ounce glass spray bottles is because I like to make a few of these at a time. So then all throughout the holiday season, I can kind of switch it up and use a different spray to kind of get different scents going in the home. So you can spray these on furniture, just mist them into the air. You can spray them on ornaments or on the Christmas tree, really wherever you want to. And the neat thing about these is that they are going to give you that pretty smell of Christmas, but instead of using Febreze or candles that have some chemicals in there whenever they're emitted into the air, these actually have benefits for you. So as you breathe in the wild orange, cinnamon, clove, those essential oils have very powerful immune boosting properties. And then some other oils like cypress and eucalyptus and peppermint that also have that nice fresh, kind of give you that pine tree smell, have really good properties for opening up the airways and promoting clear breathing. Thing. And so the neat thing about using essential oils in your room sprays is that you are going to be getting some therapeutic aromatherapy benefits as well as having your house smell, smell really nice. So these are really easy to make. It actually just takes essential oils, which I'm gonna share with you my favorite blend in just a minute, and then some witch hazel. So this is the base of the recipe that you're just going to put your essential oils in and then top it off with your witch hazel. So I'm using, like I said, a two ounce spray bottle. So if you guys are going to be using a four ounce or an eight ounce or a different one, just double or triple the amount of essential oils. Again, top it off with that witch hazel and then your spray will be ready to go. The one I'm gonna be sharing with you today is called Christmas Cheer and it has five drops of wild orange, three drops of grapefruit, three drops of clove, and then two drops each of cinnamon and cardamom. And it just has such a nice, sweet, yes, spicy, what I think smells just like Christmas. So I'm just going to get my essential oils in here and top it off with my witch hazel, and then we will get the pretty label on there. So I'm gonna start off with my wild orange here. These are fun to make for yourself, or you can even make a set of these for a friend, for a Christmas gift. It really makes a fun little gift. Last year around Christmas time, I got together with a few of my friends and we made some of these and then had them for Christmas gifts. It made for a really fun kind of DIY Christmas party. I have a link to get your own printable labels right down here in the description below. You can print off as many as you want and make however many of these as you want, but I really do think they make cute little stocking stuffers or gifts. So 
I am already thinking ahead for Christmas time because I know it just comes up so fast. So I'll be sharing here in the next couple of weeks just some more DIY things that you can do to make for different Christmas gifts. Hope you guys enjoyed this little easy essential oil DIY project. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education. I share natural remedies and I also share a lot of different healthy Whole30 and Paleo recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our Willie House.